Hello, I'll be giving a brief overview on how to perform a maximum and minimum density test on dry soil. For the minimum density test, you will need some soil, which is assumed to be oven dried, a funnel, a compaction mold without the collar, and a balance. The compaction mold is a standard mold with a volume of 1 30th of a cubic foot. Weigh and record the mass of the empty mold without the collar. Use a funnel to pluviate the sand into the mold taking note of the height between the mouth of the funnel and the deposited soil. Fill up the mold while ensuring a steady stream of soil. It is fine for the soil to overflow, but make sure not to fill less than the mold can hold. When pouring the soil, take care not to hit the mold as this can cause the soil to settle and make increase the density. Once the mold is filled, use a straight edge to trim off the excess soil from the top and brush off any soil on the outside of the mold. Weigh and record the mold with the soil and repeat the experiment at least two more times or until you have three consistent values. The maximum density test requires a shake table to be performed and in the lab class, it is often not demonstrated. Like the minimum density test, you will weigh the mass of the empty mold and then pluviate the soil into the mold to record the new weight. The mold is then transferred to the shake table and locked into place using three screws. The top cap is placed above the soil and the height of the top cap is measured with respect to the height of the edge of the mold. Once the mold is set up and secured, make sure to wear protective ear equipment as the shaking will be very loud. Set the timer of the shake table to eight minutes and wait. After eight minutes, use a veneer caliper to measure the drop in the height of the soil. Because the soil does not fill up the entire mold after the test, you must calculate the volume of the soil based on the height of the soil and the diameter of the mold. Here are some equations that should be helpful. The true minimum density of the soil is given on a data sharing link. If you have any more questions, please refer to ASTM standards or visit office hours. Thank you.